Back in 1953, Harvey Fletcher, one of the great innovators of early stereo sound on films, said it doesn't matter how many channels there are, provided you can give the illusion of there being an infinite number. He was talking about sound behind the screen primarily, left, center, and right. What the new Dolby sound system does is enables you to give the illusion of there being an infinite number of channels throughout the hemisphere, all the way around you and all above your head. Not every film will have very much to say, probably above your head, but the very fact that we can put a sound anywhere in that hemisphere is a very exciting breakthrough. We've gone from having a limited quality surround to a full range, full level surround, and the addition of our overhead speakers. To me, uh, that has been a long time coming. Cinema audio has evolved from stereo to 5.1 to 7.1 in the last uh, 20, 25 years. We believe this is the biggest step of any of those. It is uh, fundamentally a different way to deliver an audio experience. In the older 5.1 and 7.1 systems, particularly when you come off the screen with sounds, what you're aware of is this sort of imprecision of the surround sound field. And what this new technology gives us is a much more precise localization of the sounds. Recently, I've been uh, thinking about this format and designing material to play in this format. And I've been realizing more and more that this is like an instrument now. And in the beginning, we'll just be cracking the surface of what this format can do. But it itself is an instrument. I think it gives us a whole new level of creativity. So we're getting the audience involved in like, you know, pulling them into the picture and into you know, the experience of watching a movie. One of the very interesting aspects of it for me is the scaling nature, the way um, the technology applies to different auditoria from a, 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 maybe a, a small art house theatre up into a big multiplex. I think this technology translates better to all kinds of uh, playback venues because a smaller room doesn't need as many speakers as a very large room and with this technology, regardless of how big the room is and how many speakers there are, it always optimizes the, the playback of the content. You bring sounds into every part of the auditorium and you deliver an experience that consumers have never heard before. We believe that's going to be breakthrough. We believe that's going to be something that the industry embraces, not just for action movies, but for all movies. The consumer experience is really going to be one of lifelike sound and a very natural experience. I think consumers will find it much easier to listen to and I think they will find it much easier to get lost in the story. Any tool that we have and can use to create a better storytelling experience and create that emotional, visceral, excited reaction in, in an audience, um, that's what it's all about. That's why we like stories and that's why we go to the movies. The film director also gets great benefit from the new soundtrack format. Not only does it enable him to increase his artistic scope, it's like having more colors available when you paint in the canvas, the audible equivalent of that. But also because it's Dolby, he has the knowledge that he'll have support all the way through the production cycle. You know, there will be a Dolby engineer present at the mix. He knows there will be a Dolby engineer at the preview. He knows that Dolby is looking after the replay theatres. That's a unique attribute that we bring to help the director along and the confidence that comes with it.